Well, first of all, he reiterated that uh, he said that he has nothing to do with the Iranian nuclear program, and he has not been a nuclear scientist. He said that he's just been a simple researcher who works in a university which is open to all, and they can come and see his work. Uh, a point to add that he was welcomed, of uh, course, by his family, and uh, two deputy ministers, one deputy foreign deputy, uh, deputy foreign minister, and the other one uh, deputy higher education minister. And uh, uh, upon arrival, he once again said that he has been abducted and he was put uh, gone through a harshest mental and physical torture. Now, Sharam Amiri has previously come out with conflicting statements, and at one point he even said he was living freely in the U.S. state of Arizona. Does he say why he's now changed his story? Well, uh, to, uh, he said this is uh, the statement he was saying. First of all, um, he said that he's really amazed by what uh, um, Ms. Clinton said uh, uh, two days ago that Amir is free to, uh, he was free to come to the States and he's free to leave. He said uh, no, he was uh, under constant surveillance and it's people who were armed and he basically managed to escape from them and uh, he was not there on his free will and he defected. Uh, he came back to Iran after escaping from them. But right. then again, he said later details will be, follow, uh, will be given uh, later uh, once uh, he has to, uh, he, if, if uh, there are nothing to do with the sensitive national security issue. All right. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that one. Uh, Farhad Paladi reporting there from Tehran. Thanks very much indeed.